this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to modify the uh, the focal point of an image. So you have you know an image that has some maybe some stuff in the background, some foreground stuff. We're going to learn how to modify the light values of that image so that your viewer's eyes are more focused into one particular area, and you're making everything else darker so that you're only paying attention. The only thing that's essentially grabbing the viewer's attention is that one thing that you want to show them. So it's very powerful. And we can see here we already have a pretty good image here. But what we can do here is bring more attention here to the um, to the model here and all the way down here to maybe the uh, to the shoulder, but have everything else uh, in the background a little bit darker so that she pops out more. Now, obviously, this image here is already a pretty good starting point, but if you have some other images where uh, you have some other stuff that might be distracting, then this uh, technique works really well as well. So uh, it goes from everything that's very distracting, you can bring it all the way down and make it very focused, or uh, if you're already starting from a really good starting point, you can make it even better, right, just a step further. So what we need to do here is uh, just make a selection, uh, rough selection of what it is that we want to stay focused on. So we're going to be focusing on her face here and a little bit of the shoulder. So I want to just go around here her hair. I don't want to go exactly, you know, uh, going across her hair or anything like this, right? So I'm just going to undo that. I'm just going to roughly select uh, what it is that I want. So I want the shoulder here as well, coming back here to the face and so forth. So something roughly like this uh, generally works really well. So don't pay too much. Uh, don't spend too much time, make the selection, just make a rough selection. And now we're going to add a adjustment layer. We're going to go into adjustment layers and add curves. And with the curves, we're just going to bring down this slider here, this, this top slider. We're going to bring it all the way down to about here where you can see that uh, things got a lot darker here. There's still some detail in the image, but it's gotten a heck of a lot darker. So we're going to click OK. And now the beauty of this is we can invert this. So we're just going to do Control and I to invert. And we have everything else being darker. And she is essentially staying unfocused. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, this kind of doesn't look good. <laughs> there's one more step to this, which is we, we're going to add Gaussian Blur to this so that there isn't that much of a divide. So it just fades out this, uh, the, the difference between the light and the dark. So we're going to go into Filter. Uh, blur and Gaussian Blur. And we're going to add, let me start here with a low radius here. We're going to add a radius that makes it seem like uh, you can't really tell that you actually applied a filter to this. That it just, it just makes it seem like it's just getting darker just because that's the way the photo is, right? So uh, the way that we do this is with a pretty high radius. Something around 40 to 50 usually works. If you go too high, then you start making everything too dark. So just uh, stay around uh, around 40 or, or so, depending on your image, maybe 30. I'm going to put in here 40 and click OK. And as you can see, we have here's the before and here's the after. And uh, this this could work really well for you uh, if, if this is the intent that you want, which is to make it, you know, make everything else really that much darker and just have her just popping out of the image. Or you can gradate things a little bit, right? So you can change the opacity of things and you can make it, you know, you can make it all the way down to nothing, but you want to bring in that effect, right? That's why we're applying this. So somewhere around 60, 80 percent is probably a good uh, point for you to go. I'm just going to go with 78 here, just where my mouse ended up. And uh, let me show you here the before and the after. And that's how we can actually focus the attention of the viewer uh, by making everything else darker. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.